We've just received some exciting news that Google has released its latest AI conversational model called BARD, and BARD is now in testing by trusted users. And while this can be seen as a quick response from Google to rival ChatGPT, they've been working on creating these large language AI models for the past six years. Now granted, their AI language models really haven't had the same amount of popularity like ChatGPT and OpenAI has had, especially within the past couple of months, but BARD looks very promising for the future of AI within Google. BARD is built on the evolution of the previous language AI models created by Google. So the first Transformer model created by Google was BERT, and this was revolutionary in understanding the intricacies of human language. And then around in 2020, Google introduced MUM or MUM, which was a thousand times more powerful than BERT, and it had next level and multilingual understanding of information, which can pick out key moments in videos and provide critical information, including crisis support in different languages. And today, BARD is built on top of LAMDA. So LAMDA is the language model for dialogue applications, and it can engage in a free-flowing way about a seemingly endless number of topics. And this allows you as a user to have more natural ways of interacting with technology because it's trained on dialogue compared to some of the older Transformer models. So you're able to have more context, which allows you to have more nuance and more of a human-like conversation with the AI. So right now, it seems some of the biggest differences between ChatGPT and BARD is that BARD will be able to pick up more on dialogue and it'll be able to have more open-ended conversation than other forms of language AI models. So according to Google, BARD will have more sensibility and more specificity in its responses. So what exactly will BARD look like for a user? I suspect that it will be someone like ChatGPT in terms of having a web app that you can log into and you'd be able to interact with the conversational AI model you'll be able to ask it specific questions and be able to generate um, whatever output you like from the AI pretty easily. You could also expect to see BARD in your Google search results. According to Google, you'll be able to see AI powered features in search that distill complex information and multiple perspectives into an easy to digest format. So you can quickly understand the big picture of what you're searching up. So whether that's seeking out different perspectives or going deeper on a related topic, BARD will synthesize complex topics and complex um, search queries into readable, digestible information that brings in different perspectives or goes deeper on a specific topic once you search it up on Google. So that will be pretty interesting to see how it'll play out. And it'll also be interesting to see how that also affects websites and blogs because a lot of companies and bloggers are able to monetize and make money through their websites from Google search results and people finding them um, online. And also advertisers pay to be on those premium spots on the Google search um, results. So it will be interesting to see how they're able to incorporate their AI chat box in their Google search results, but also leave room for paid advertisers and organic search results from websites or blogs. So uh, that's something that we'll have to sort of see once they roll out these features. But it is interesting to keep that in mind to see how um, that will change um, paid advertisers and also organic search results. But nevertheless, very exciting news. It is nice that us users have the ability to use these very powerful conversational AI language models for completely free. Um, now it's just about which one of those tools are going to come out on top and um, which one is going to have the best quality and the best use cases for your own specific use. I don't think that there will be one that will be outright better than the other. I think there's going to be room for both ChatGPT and Google's AI. It'll just be a matter of preference as to which one you like better and also when they do roll out some paid plans what makes sense financially so that's the video for today just wanted to do a quick update on google's bard let me know in the comments below what you think about google rolling out their own ai also let me know in the comments below if you're a website owner or a blogger how do you think this is going to affect paid ads and organic search results do you think it's going to uh, reduce the amount of people that are clicking on blogs or websites because they can just get their search queries answered right on Google. And you think that's going to have effect on your search traffic. I definitely think that um, it, it is something to consider and that possibly might happen. But also it is in Google's interest for them to uh, continue to be able to get people to other people's websites on their Google search results. And also um, it is a big interest of them to also have advertisers continue to pay to be on top. So um, I guess we'll just have to see how those features roll out and what they implement and how they're able to sort of mitigate them rolling out their own AI and also 
keeping the needs of website owners in mind. So that's it for today. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video and hope that you learned something new. If you did, don't forget to leave us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.